Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Halo Wars. Yeah, that's right, we're back. And today we have some juicy, juicy battles. We got some memes. Get your teas. It's gonna be a long one. So, All units. because, I don't know, I think some people in the community have watched some of my videos, my recent ones. Uh, I had someone ask, can I, can I be in a video? <laughs> uh, and they ended up getting some friends together. And we decided to try something that, you know, you only imagine about. What could a game with only Cyclopses be like? Hmm. Well, today we answer that question. And we establish, firstly, some very important ground rules. And that is, you cannot make anything Supply except for Cyclopses. You can't make turrets, you can't make Warthogs, except for the free one you've got. Because that, I mean, you know, unless we, you were able to make custom games, you, you start with a Warthog. So, this is going to be very, very interesting. I kind of had a strategy off the bat. Uh, Jaren there says that he's a Cyclops God player. And we'll see how true that really is. So I go not... I, I was actually thinking of going uh, reactor first, but I don't. I go reactor second. I probably could have went reactor first because that will allow you to get your Cyclopses out as quickly as possible. I think I had a look at... Uh, uh, to see what... Yeah, you can see me just clicking like, gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> And because we're all Forge, you get that supply pad out fast. It's it's going to be interesting, this one. Trust me. If, if you're here for a good time, you're going to have it. You're, I, I'll give it to you. It's free. Unless you're paying for, like, unless you're a member. In which case, thank you so much for being a member. It, it helps me out. It's amazing. <laughs> it allows me to make videos like this. You know, I, I know this isn't going to be the next big episode. But there it is, our first Cyclops. Look at it. Isn't it glorious? Lovely, creamy, creamy Cyclops. Sorry, I, I, I get a bit excited when I see Cyclops. So, I mean, if we're only doing Cyclopses only, what can you do? I see not everybody's went for it first. Some people have went Reactor 3rd or 4th. Really, you could probably go Reactor first, make two or three Cyclopses, maybe even two, and then get your supply pad. But Forge has the eco, like the early eco lead. Now, if, I know, I know, this is what you have been screaming about. I made a video last time where I went for Cyclopses in a game, and they, they, they kind of did something, they kind of didn't. But this time, we're going to see nothing but Cyclopses. And I, I, going into this, I'm very excited. I am very excited about what strategies you could make for a Cyclops only battle. And you're going to see my first strategy here using my one free Warthog. And I, I'm calling Blue out here. I'm like, oh, you're a Cyclops player, are you? Okay. Okay. I'm curious. Let's see. Let's see what you can do, Mr. Cyclops Pro. He's like, yeah, I am. I'm a Cyclops Pro. <laughs> so, I mean, all the bases are going to look the same at this point. And I see his lights going. He's, he's either upgrading his base or the, the conclusion, which is he's going for Cyclops. So I don't know how many Cyclops you can get in a Pelican, but I'm letting everyone know. I'm like, look, guys, look, look what I'm doing. Look at it. Go play the Halo. Th do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Off it goes into the night. And it kind of gets shot down by some rebel uh, turrets, but that's not going to make much of a difference here. And I'm preparing the victory screech, or the call of war, which is Cyclops go. And they get hit again by another turret. Uh, I decide not to get that resource. I think the, the Warthog has already made a mistake, has not learned from his mistakes. And here it comes. Here it comes. There's no way Cyclops could be getting over to the other side. And there you go. There's one. And he has upgraded. And the battle is about to begin. Four Cyclopses drop in to take on his reactor. And there we go. I just I just keep the uh, the growth of them going. Keep the... Sorry, growth. I couldn't think of the word production. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just love it. I'm like, look, right. The way that this is going to go is that everyone's going to make Cyclopses and then just, like, attack a base. But if I just keep this going, 
keep the pressure up. If I take out his reactor, he can't make Cyclopses. That's my theory. I haven't upgraded them. And... Finally, Cyclops is actually doing something. So we've got another one coming in, another pelican full of uh, Cyclopses. And here we go. He's got two to attack me, but I'm a, I'm sorry. Oh, and this is, this is where it gets a bit controversial. Somebody on my team goes for a carpet bomb. Now this, this upsets Gale Platt, who apparently isn't on her pills. But... Um, if, if you're a Coronation Street fan, wow, that that is, we are threading the needle with my fan base here. People who watch Halo Wars and also know what Coronation Street is in the UK. <laughs> and have watched it when they were a kid. Anybody gets that? Oh, I love you. Anyway, so we take out the reactor and it, just when he thinks he's about to get the situation under control, another, oh, but Red comes in. Red's like, I see you. I see what you're doing. No. And, and, and freaking Black comes in here as well. And is like, nah. <laughs> Not having this. But another reactor denied. And yeah, the copper bomb. Uh, Black is not very happy with that Local saying, so we copper bombing now, huh? I'm like, it, it wasn't me, I swear. Uh, so yeah, we, we, we established that now. We're like, okay, nobody copper bomb from now on. Because if you upgrade your copper bomb... You could take out a whole army of Cyclopses super easy. And we don't want to see that, do we, guys? We, we want to see, uh, like, 120 Cyclopses from each team just go at it in the middle. Just, like, Cyclopsing around. You know, like, like it's Morbin time, but it's Cyclops time. So at this point, I decide... He's still making Cyclops, so I, I'm assuming maybe he has a reactor somewhere else. I don't think he does, actually. But it's at this point, I know my numbers are a little bit low. I'm going to leave my Warthog here just in case they decide to come up that way. But really, the strategy should have been grab an expo as quickly as possible. That's what I should have done. But I thought, for the memes, guys, let's go for a rush with Cyclopses. I had heard that uh, somebody mentioned this before in my video, saying that actually, I, I, you know, if you use Pelican Drop Cyclopses at the back of someone's base, it's... It's kind of an MLG tactic. So I thought Local we'd give units. that a shot. And there we go. Yes, one star. Really, Local the strategy units. would be go around all the bases and get as many stars up on your Cyclopses as possible. And I've got some one stars there, so I decide to heal them. And because they're so slow, they can keep on moving. And then I forget that there was some rebels there. Oversight on my part. I apologize. At this point, I probably should have upgraded my reactor. To level two and started the uh the upgrade on the cyclops which is the heal uh, maybe i do that but i'm like oh wait hold on yeah i i noticed it there and actually i don't do it i decide to go for the base i haven't even upgraded mine i don't know why i'm i'm being so stingy with my resources here i should have i should do all of the above i should have got the the reactor got the base and then freaking what was the other thing? Uh, whatever. Anyway, I should have done some. I should have done more. I should have upgraded that one. And here we are. We have 13 Cyclopses. Not even 13. I think we've got seven out in the field at the moment. Yellow has got their second base. Green has got their second base. We've got Cyclopses getting the next one. I'm not paying attention to points because it's pretty obvious we're all going to be going for the same thing. We're all going to be Cyclopsing around all over the place and destroying as many things as possible. It's This is just an Australian match, apparently. I don't know why they decided that Cyclops would be the only unit with an Australian accent, but they did. Um, I think somebody at Ensemble Studios maybe doesn't like Australians. I don't know. Because the unit's terrible. <laughs> so maybe I tried to, like, kill the turrets first to get more stars, but he's not. He's having none of it. So the interesting thing with the Pelican drop is that you need line of sight. So if I wanted to now, I really could have, and probably should have, sent my Warthog to the back of the base and pelicaned in all of my Cyclops now. And that would have been, that would have been MLG strats. But at this point, I feel like I need to keep my Cyclopses close to home. They need to be here. And I know Cyclopses benefit from adrenaline. So I think to myself, oh, what I should do is get adrenaline. Because then when you get torque joint, you get adrenaline. 
these things move. They, they, they are coming. But I've, I've just got uh, the Healy ability now. And I see that Blue is making a little bit of a push towards me. And I don't know whether I flagged that or not. And I'm thinking to myself, what, what do I do? And then, through the middle... Uh, and then this is where I clarify, like, can we make turrets? Through the middle come blue and black. And, uh, yeah, yes, he's having a lovely time. He's like, intruders! <laughs> and there, there's talk joint. But I can't make it just yet because I'm getting that at the moment. I'm getting the, the second upgrade. I, um, yeah, there it goes. We had some Cyclops actually get through. And the melee begins. Look at it go. Look at all the sparks fly. At this point, I think green has the most amount of army. Blue's pushing on the left side. Yellow comes in for support. We've got some two stars. Red pelicans over. We're seeing so many MLG plays here. So many tactics. They're trying to take uh, them out as fast as possible. Red drops in. Like eight of them. And I think... They're upgraded, and I am definitely not upgraded. It's not looking good at this point. We're on the back foot. We're being attacked. And Cyclopses against other Cyclopses? Uh, they don't finish them very quickly. I'll be honest. And then all of a sudden, I see Blue is attacking me. And this is where I, I, I'm like... this. You know, if there was more of a Halo War scene, maybe... I would know what to do. Maybe I should have realized that actually going for that tactic wasn't the best idea. And going for a, an extra base would have been better. And pelicking in when I had more would have been better. Either way, Blue decides to, you know, walk past my, my pitiful army. Because I'm pretty sure they're all fully upgraded. And I am not. And for some reason, I decide not to upgrade them. I think I decide to grab this just in case. But Blue, Blue's now just, he's flagged my base. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to kill you. You're, you're going down. And I lose, I lose a one star there. Sad times. Very sad times. And then the horde of Blue starts to appear. Black there, ready to absolutely crush my, my dreams of, a, of an expo. And Red does go down. Has lost some. But again, it's not a numbers game. It doesn't matter how many Cyclopses you have it becomes very quickly apparent to me that it's it's about destroying the base and i see it going down and i try and recycle as many and unfortunately i didn't go for my my upgraded base i didn't go for an upgraded reactor so i'm back down to one i can't upgrade there's a warthog in there a flaming warthog <laughs> just moseying on by and yellow yellow tries to help me out i've still got one bait one base and uh blue is in general he doesn't even care he flags somewhere and says go here i'm not exactly too sure where here is but i'm hoping it's nowhere near me at this point Local i decide units. to get a field armory i All units. and i think i try to get adrenaline again here because i haven't got talk joined but maybe Adre you know adrenaline will make them move faster it won't give them health or anything but at least, and I think yellow has adrenaline and talk joy. I think each, there's one person on each of our team that knows about the adrenaline upgrade for Cyclopses. And just because I know they're slow, I decide to pelican them over because they need, really need to help out here. Yeah, look at greens go. They're so quick. Oh, it's great. And then here they come. Here come some pelican uh, Cyclopses. You, I, you know, this tactic has made me use pelican. I very rarely use Pelican, and I, I'm starting to lose it. I, I see it. I see the light. The end of the tunnel. And it's filled with blue Cyclopses. <laughs> it's horrible. And green now tells me to repair base. And I go, wait, hold on a minute. Oh, yeah. I can repair bases. I didn't think about that. Oh, God. So I, I make some... Uh, so, something on my base to stop blue being able to be right where I need to be to heal or, you know, stopping them there. And then there we go. I see him taking that expo. Good, good MLG play there. I mean, that's what you want to see. And here we go. We're starting to heal back, actually. If I can just get Cyclopses in the gaps of the buildings, 
That's really going to help me. But unfortunately, yes, we fended off the first wave. But the second wave, probably with reserves, is coming through. And I keep on going there. I I'm, I'm just keeping my base alive. Again, these are Cyclopses that don't have any uh, final upgrade. So I don't know if their healing could be faster if that is the case. It would be great to see some, some people test out that theory. You know, have a Scorpion, low health, and then two different Cyclopses heal it before, heal it after when they've had the upgrade. I mean, really, we're, we're just doing that for ourselves at this point. No, Nobody's going to be like, oh, what? we need that upgrade to heal because nobody gets Cyclopses. Anyway, I, I desperately and futilely try to get that back. And it just boxes. And here, no, oh, the boxes, the army comes through. No. So, guys, we can finally put to bed. What does a battle look like that is only Cyclopses? And it is pretty much this. It is, they will run up on your base and they will hammer it. But, I mean, maybe there's a little bit of strategy involved where you Pelican drop them at the beginning, which is what I tried to, to do. And I was wondering if that was, you know, maybe a possibility. But I'm so low on resources now. They are just annihilating. They're, they're, they're basically being banshees and just tearing to shreds. I don't know though, guys. If I was you, and... Oh, he, here, here comes my support. A little bit too late. But I thought... The army has arrived! Play the road music! Da, 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 da. And he's, he's desperately trying to um, help me out here. So I get some supply pads up. Just to move off blue. To stop him attacking it. Red gets pelicaned in here. I thought Cyclopses would instantly destroy a base, man. It's got one supply pad on it. And I thought at that point... Three attacking it would take a quarter off each. Like, each hit would be bam, bam, bam. But it's not, surprisingly enough, even with this many Cyclops, it takes a while for them to, to kill a base. So even when, at the zenith, at a point in the game when you would never get this many, and just be able to... Look, look how long that's taken! I, I feel like it'd be more Mimi if they did do it quicker. And, and at this point, Yellow has abandoned the cause. He's like, you know what? Yes, there's red, there's blue still at my friend's base. But I'm going to just say I'm going to try and help my base. But his base is already gone at this point. And now we play we play a game where it's I try and take a base before you die. <laughs> the lone straggler Cyclops has been left. So, here we go. This this is all I can do. And I have to do this. Because if I don't, if I if I let them have it for a second, they will build a base. And they will take it. And it costs 100. And, you know, each time it gets hit, that's, that's so much resources gone. So 1,088, and I'm just trying to keep it. I'm trying to keep it alive while my other Cyclops get over to the other way. <laughs> I do this so many times that I think even when I stop doing this, the announcer is still saying, last time I paused, last time I restarted, when I'm not doing it anymore. And I'm just trying, and there you go, Red's taking it at this point, I'm out. Local units. And I, I, there's, there's nothing I can do. I try, I try my best to take this one, but they've learned the strategy. They've learned the strategy of healing, which I, I'd never even thought of. At the start, when I was attacking his reactor, he didn't even think to heal his own reactor. So we've learned a lot in this game. We've learned that pelicans are great. Adrenaline, uh, healing your own things. timer restarted. And because Cyclops is aren't ranged, dropping a Healy Beam on your army of Cyclops is actually a decent strategy because only the front ones will be taken damage. So the ones that are behind can uh, survive. So I, I try to take this one, but it's it's no use. It is it is absolutely no use. Green's trying to help me, and then, of course, Black takes it, and, and that's pretty much me done. I, I, I got pushed off that base and I am out! My Cyclops is full! It's horrible. And pretty much after this, I mean, you can, you can see how this is going to go. Yellow's also about to be taken out. And 
Green sees that the pelican's struggling, but not for much longer. As fully upgraded, torque joint, adrenaline. Uh, <laughs> look at them go. They just run. Green and red are the only ones that did the adrenaline. And look at them. Look, it's so quick. And green tries to surround them. Because when a base is fully upgraded, I'm curious, like, how many, how many techs people have. This is what I want to look at. I want to know who has taken the initiative and known adrenaline. So, green goes for adrenaline. Yellow, no adrenaline. Me, no adrenaline. But then, of course, I, I didn't go for it. Uh, no adrenaline from black there. Any adrenaline from red? Uh, yes, adrenaline from red, but no adrenaline from blue. So it's basically red and green. Know about the extra speed you can get. Look at them go. Look how quick they are. They can just get away from black there. Look at them. Uh, and then he decides to, to not do it. And he's going to... Uh, there you go. Yellow's gone. And he's about to stage an honorable last uh, last salute there. He's, he's, he's so given up at this point. He's starting to make turrets. <laughs> Even though we agreed not to go for turrets. He's going for turrets. And green might be feeling a bit good here. He's, he's starting to win back. He's, he's fending off the swarm of, of the few cyclops. Sorry, I can't, I've said that word so many times I can't even say it anymore. I've worn my brain out. And there you go. A turret comes up. Beautiful. He's probably getting medium turrets at this point to try and upgrade. He's probably sent it to anti-vehicle. Oh, there you go. Medium turret is up now. Double the firepower. But look. The army. The queuing. The queuing of the Cyclopses, and they just keep coming out of the shadow. And then a carpet bomb comes through from someone, and yep, there you go. He carpet bombs the turret. I, th I think we agreed that. How, actually, is is it anti infantry or anti anti vehicle would be best against Cyclops? I really don't know. That would be interesting. Which one's better? And yep, that turret gets taken down. And look, they. They just don't stop coming. There's so many of them. And when... when Sorry, I think I forgot to mention. When a building's fully covered in, you know, or base fully... You know what? You know what? It's been one of those days. <laughs> when a base is fully covered in buildings, the Cyclops can't get to the main base. So they just need to surround, tear down, and then go for the middle. And, like, there's nothing you can do here. Even if Green had every single Cyclops, he, he's trying to defend the front so that they can't attack the main building. But once the sides are gone, there's nothing to stop these guys. He can try and make buildings to push them off. But yeah, all they need to focus on is stripping it and then look at the middle. Look at it go. I mean, they're trying to heal, but it's just no use. And there you have it, guys. A game full of Cyclopses. What could that look like? Well, that's it. And he looks like he did go for a little bit of a cheeky pelican. He probably sent his warthog over to try and get, you know, some dignity back. The fair play to him. I salute him. These guys knew how to play Cyclopses far better than I did. I thought maybe a rush could be quite interesting, but I underestimated just how good the Cyclops was. And there you go. There's the results. Beautiful. And we give the GG's before going on to our second meme game. Units. Only grunts. So this one's a little bit more confusing for the players. We originally agreed that we could use our Arbiter, but only the first one. Once it dies, you can't make it back again. Because it feels as though maybe, you know, because you have the Arbiter, you have the teleporter. But I think we very quickly realized that if we go for Arbiter, then some people probably aren't going to make... That they'll just... Because Arbiter only is a very uh, used sort of strategy to not make anything and just upgrade your Arbiter. And Super runs, that's a... Like, Arbiter and Super is a strategy in itself. Like, that's a rush. That's just a normal rush for Arby. So... We sort of clarified that we, you can kind of use Arby if you want to clear a base or something, but really you can't use all him at all for combat. Like, once you've got your bases cleared, that's it. He's off limits. 
because I wanted to see just what Cyclops Oni would look like. And we've seen what Cyclops Oni look like. And it there definitely is strategy. There's a back and forth. And are more of an interesting case because they their normal attack doesn't do anything. And for them to really be viable, they need to have their final upgrade, which means that they they go faster. And here we go. Look, look at purple taking a second base as quickly as possible. One suicide squad to explode themselves on the base to blow up everywhere. Maybe we shouldn't say that word. Maybe we should say exploding grunts. Yes. There we go. That, that's better. Hopefully the algorithm will favor us more there. Using the un talk the unit you can't mention in Halo Wars. So, because they're even they're the most expensive unit when it comes to unique covenant units, because I think Honor Gods cost 125, Brutes are 150, Suicides are 160. So, even just trying to make supply pads on your base while getting is a thing in its own. So I tell everyone, I'm like, okay, everybody just dump your arbiter in the middle. Some people listen to it, some people don't. Either way, they don't use their Arbiter. I mean, they might use it to take out Rebels, but I think going forward, it would have to be established more clearly. Like, do we use it at all? Or we just hide it at the back of our base or something? But for this game, the, the, the rule is that you can, you know, use your Arbiter to try and take out some buildings or take out Rebels. And then... Of course, you can just grab the resources on them. I'm like, no, no, I need these. I'm, I'm barely surviving. <laughs> I can't keep production up. On me exploding. Exploding? Grunts. Yes. It's quite interesting. Because I think, law-wise... I mean, these grunts kind of exist, but they just hold Warehouse normally just two plasma grenades and run at you. Whereas these guys have, I don't know, extra, extra explody stuff on the back. Local unit. I mean, grunts, if you don't know, if you're, if you're not a Halo lore fanatic, they they have a gas canister on their back filled with methane, because that's what they, they breathe, and that Local normally units. explodes anyway. So maybe it's ultra methane or something that sends them into overdrive and they go like oh, a bit crazy who knows anyway i hope you you grab a snack you've got some i don't know oh there you go some strategy there just exploding on the rebels to try and grab the uh, the resources i wonder if the arbiter goes in there and just starts stealing the resources i feel like he might but then again no he's running he's running around he's not attacking he's just sort of chicken running about that is the arbiter glitch you can do very good, and one of the reasons... Local units. One of the reasons why... Uh, yeah, and Red thinks we're using Arbiter here, so he's like, oh, come on, don't glitch, man. Uh, one of the reasons why Arbiter is used in the meta is because of this chicken walk, this chicken run. Basically makes you incredibly hard to hit with Warthogs, and also you can Local attack units. and go, like, run away instantly. There's no standing still after you hit, which is what normally happens. And I think without that, Arbiter would be in a weird situation. I think it would be a lot weaker. I think Brute would be the go-to. Prophet's situational. And Arbiter, I think, without its chicken run glitch, would also be situational. And there you go. He's, he's kind of just foddering it off there. And... Those suicides will definitely have stars. <laughs> so I want to follow in uh, in Black's footsteps and just send off my Arbiter to their side. I think I tell them he's, he's over there if you want to kill him. And really, I guess the strategy could be to grab bases on their side first. You'll see how this match goes, but it's not optimal. I feel like we need another run with people that are willing are, are, you know, willing to give up their time. <laughs> I want to see like, what we can do. It is very interesting how this battle turns out. Because at the moment, we're all doing the same strategy. No one's running over to another base, which could have been quite an interesting one. Especially if you could teleport with Arby, but not use him. 
You can't rage with Arby, and you wouldn't be able to upgrade him. I think that would be the ground rules. If he attacks, like, you can't help that because you can't set him to defense. But using him as a teleport, and when he dies, you don't make him again? Could only really be enforceable if it was an extra rule. But here we go. I have 12, probably 11, including the ghost. And we have a second base. I'm getting a shield. I don't know why I'm getting a shield. I, like, at this point, if... So, uh, exploding runs come over to my... That's going to be an ongoing thing this whole video. If exploding runs come over to my base, I, I, I'm i there. I could probably just fodder up my exploding runs. But what I decided to do is take the fence. In the middle, Purple's got his fence. And it makes sense. Makes sense to go get it. And there's some rebels there. But, you know, he's got one star on him. Bless him. Look at him go. Warehouse complete. Ready to serve the greater good. Sort of. Or the great journey. They go take plasma complete. pistols. And then I send, I send some extra ones over just to, to help the little bugger out in case he, in case he dies. Because that could very easily happen. So I don't have... I think any upgrades on my exploding runs. I could be wrong. And here we go. This is where I see it. And uh, that was a controversial one, I'm afraid. Because we, we'd sort of all agreed not to go for Arby. And if we do, you have an Arby, not to use them. So it was a little bit of a telling off there. Red wasn't sure. Like, he didn't deliberately break rules there, so... <clears throat> it's 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 all a tech that's a technical file Warehouse which we we all uh we all agree to like he was like didn't we say we get one free and one thing i wanted to make clear because there's enough salty you know players in this game i wanted to say you know we agreed upon that at start but don't worry like i'm not mad at you because games like this they can get toxic very quickly so i think i throw them like no worries Local it's fine units. and that's when i realize that I have a three... Oh, maybe I haven't realized it just yet. But we've got a three-star grunt squad. Local units. I haven't marveled at it yet. I'm pretty sure I, when I realize yeah, it, I go, complete. Oh, that's amazing! <laughs> uh, even has a one-star on him. So he was prepared, probably, to just use his Arbiter. And, you know, rage down super... Oh! Bleep that! <laughs> rage down exploding! Oh my god, I'm gonna have to bleep so much of this. So, Cyan actually comes down the side. Ready for a rush. And you kind of hear it in the distance. Enemy engagement. You hear it exploding. Local unit. And he tried to explode into me. And I, I don't think you can do that. Which I, at the time, thought you could. And that's why I was like, oh, well, this isn't going to be a problem because, you know, you're just going to be raging into, you know, taking it and then sending exploding ones in and and uh, changing. And here we go. Bless them. They lay down their lives. And of course, the Arbiters, you know, you, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't not attack. So fair enough. And they still, there's still one left. And I miss it. And there you go. He gets the... Valiant. Valiant gets the kill. And there we have it. Beautiful. I wanted yellow to take the other one so we could make a pretty little rainbow. Like a lion's... A, a flag of a lion, friendship. But uh, yellow yellow doesn't want to play ball. And he, uh, apparently he just wants to take another expo or something. Local something units. boring. Psychops one was way more exciting than this one has been so far. And I was expecting this one to be the same. And I'm like, look... Look, guys, three star. <laughs> no, nobody cares. Nobody cares. You got a three star. I can, and that's what's important. Here we go. This is this is an amazing play by Yellow. Are you ready? Are you ready to see this? It's a highlight. Highlight for sure. Ah, oh, did they go? And they 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 kind of attack, but barely do anything. Ah, look at them go! They don't do anything, they all die! <laughs> and at this point, everybody's looking over there. Everybody saw that. Oh, which is brilliant. 
Or at least we did and Black did and probably Red did as well, knowing he was attacked. I'm not too sure what Cyan was doing. So finally, we're, we're getting the, the final upgrades to uh, to my base. And he, at this point, he's just giving red stars. Which could be a tactic. You know, switching in and out. So oh, God, dang it. <laughs> Exploding grunts. And then when you get a three star, switch it out. Put another one in. And eventually... You know, if if, if the, they didn't get privy to it, you could have a full army of three-star exploding grunts. But no one's got time for that. Red kind of comes down here, not expecting me to have it. But he's very wrong. And even, even at three stars, they barely do any damage. They're three stars. They're in... You know, a platform, which means they do extra damage and take less damage. And we've got no turrets. Because at this point, if we have turrets, it's Warehouse only going to make the game more annoying for us. Oh, I'm seeing on the minimap. I have no idea what's happening here. And then I see why purple's moving. Yeah, it's because they, they just attacked yellow and killed him. They got through and oh... You see, they were aggressive. We were, we played defensive. Apes follow easy to war. Local <laughs> and here we go. Yellow, Yellow is trying to keep up with them, to slow them down, to delay them. And he, he quickly recycles something to place another shield generator because he realizes that's an issue. And what's interesting, I just realized that his shield went down and then instantly regenerated. Because he started placing a shield generator on. Now, that was so weird. I'm pretty sure his shield generator is still... Oh, no, it's not full. Okay. So, he's starting to get that new shield generator. And this is interesting. Like, watch this. So, all this damage that Black is doing. And a lot of it didn't go through. And I have no idea why. Or maybe it did. I, I have no idea. I think it's because that shield generator just got made. And it was still applying its extra health to it. It, it. it could possibly have been the case. So it wasn't regenerating. It was just trying to fill up to the extra health as if it had two health bars. Because it still went down pretty quick. So here we go. Here's the strategy. Ah! So one squad can kill another squad. And you've still got half of the, the attacking squad. So Cyan is now trying to push on the right side. It's starting to heat up. It was a little bit slow just to get the numbers because they do take a while and they are also expensive and very slow in terms of movement. And I think there is... Oh, okay. Not too sure what's happening there, but they're attacked by pistols or plasma pistols or something. And there is like a two-star squad, two star squad in that base, which is very interesting. They're just kind of stuck there. And... Uh, yeah, Cyan decides to Local units. Local units. just call quits on that. He's like, nah, we're, we're getting nowhere. I mean, favor favor for the other team. They did not waste any time. Once they got Local control units. of that side, they just, like, marched through. Teleporting through here. Oh, yeah, bruh, bruh, like bowling pins. <laughs> it's beautiful. And then a full-on army comes through. Local units. And now I try to get through as well to, to give them support here. Really, I could have just walked through the gate. I could have just flagged the gate and then, you know, that would have been better. And then Cyan sees. Cyan sees the gates down. He's like, take the gate! Like a battle of all the rings here. So, there we go. Some of mine have got through, but it's a battle of attrition. There's blue neon flames everywhere. And then, I think they do the unthinkable. I think they take the gate. I'm not too units. sure. There's a little bit of a battle there. At the middle. Enemy and then, engagement. for some odd reason, my, my, oh, almost, oh, almost it. my exploding grunts decided to not go through the teleporter and to get stuck. Local units. So I, I queue up even more now. Local and he's like, units. come on, come on, come on, go. What are you doing? I'm like, I'm trying. I'm clicking it, but they're not doing it. They're not going. Local units. And that is a huge Local army from units. Red there at the main gate. That's their strategy. They're happy to lose some as long as they control the main game. Yellow is starting to push on the left side. So that's good. I'm like, I'm oh, sorry. I got clogged. 
There's a claw can be teleported. And then some of the Saiyan have actually got through now and are attacking the other base. Enemy engagement. So it's, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a struggle without the Arbiter. And I think we're realizing that. That without the ability to run around with the Arbiter and get behind a base and teleport them in. But then say, uh, Saiyan, oh sorry, Purple loses a base. That's Purple and, and uh, Yellow have both lost bases now. And we take out the two-star Saiyan from that Local one. We just, you know what? We'll trade the main gate as long as we can secure the teleporter. And then we can fan out to the right. And I want to see what's going on here. I've had enough of us losing bases. Local units. And Local at this units. point, Black gets bored. He says, now this is just boring. <laughs> Which I Local won't units. argue with you. It is very boring. But, I, you know, I'm curious. Maybe 14 wasn't the best place to do it. And yeah, I used so many of my exploding grunts on that. And I'm like, okay, how about we wait? We'll just have them here. Keep on pew pewing it down while more come through. That's the strap there. I don't have to worry about anything. And maybe that was, you know, the best idea. I should have ran them in. I should have kept them shooting for as long as possible until resistance showed up. And that way I get, you know, the most bang for my buck. And I do manage to destroy that base. They, they try to take it, but there is a lot of them. But we do have the home, uh, home, um, the home advantage, so we can make them and they're right there. And then here we go. Shield almost gone. Some defenders. And I'm kind of wondering what's going on here because they, they could kind of push to my base. And I haven't even considered going for multiple shield generators on my base just because there's... I think I have two. But after seeing just how effective two shield generators were on a base, I started to think to myself, wait, I should probably... You know, what would a base be like if it had four shield generators on it? <laughs> but it's kind of not possible unless you've got three bases in general just because they cost so much. But I decide here, let's go for, let's do one Local better. Unit. Let's go for three. So they do take down the shield, but it's probably Local not going to be unit. enough. So I've taken out one base and, uh, and yeah, I realized my ghost's there and I try to get him away, but Local it's too late. Units. It's too late. They're too powerful. They're too explodey. So I feel like we've done a good push on the right side there, but yellow didn't Local join us. Unit. And I think that's the issue. If we were all there pushing together, we could probably take out two bases. I, I, I get the feeling that the opponents are getting Local quite bored units. of this. I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I'm like, ooh, if, if Yellow was with us there, we could probably have done really well. But Enemy Yellow engagement. decides to push on Red. Well, Red is distracted. Red's Local miles units. away. He cannot defend his own base. We're sort of getting through now. I decide to Local sacrifice unit. my military for, you know, taking out reds. And if you're the proactive one, if you micromanage your, your exploding grunts better than the opponent, you actually save. And look, they're almost all dead. And I had about four or five there. And then there you go. Just just the turrets go. Or, you know, the platforms. And we, Purple's Local lost unit. a base. Um, red's lost a base, but also... Uh, Yellow's lost his army as well. The army from Black comes through and starts to threaten Yellow. So, you know, we, I, I, I try my best. I'm like, okay, do it. A little bit of attack there. That's great. A little bit more. I'm not doing it individually, though. I could probably have done that way better. But they're slowly walking up. So the weakest person from us, economy-wise, is maybe Yellow? And Cyan is on their side, who's lost the most, too. But then, but then they start to teleport through and it doesn't look so good. And I decide here to go for the ultimate strategy. Here we go. Enemy oh, engaged. also, I forgot to mention in the chat. I think people have decided to go for scarabs. On the enemy team, I think they've, they've gotten bored and they don't want to play for another hour. Can you but the audacity? Which is very shocking. Very disappointing. You know, I thought I thought we were gonna be here. 
We, we were gonna do this, you know. It's slower, but we're starting to get somewhere now. I don't know about you, but bases are being taken. It's just a slow build-up, and eventually we get there. And then... Oh, look at that! Look at that! Amazing! And I'm so annoyed, because there's nobody there. I should have taken down his shield generator. I can't believe it. I had it. I had it. No, I should have just had one grunt. Or a couple of grunts. Here we go. And Black says, can we swap to Scarab? So no one's agreeing with him. No one's saying like, oh yeah, let, let's switch over. Let's do Scarab only. Although that would be a good match in itself. Red also agrees. Because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you agree? That makes more sense. If, if you're going for Scarab, and of course Scarabs are going to be way better against exploding grunts. And, you know, Red Red agrees a parlay. He's like, okay, how about we all go for Scarab, but we have to first kill all our units. And I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to give up on this this dream. So I try and go up top, but they, they kind of see my tactic. Because I was thinking to myself, you know, if there's any base that's only got to have one shield generator, it'll be the starting base. But I was, uh, I, I, I was very wrong. So I'm saying exploding is the name of the game, though, guys. Gotta see it through. And yellow's fully committed. I'm still fully committing. But I'm like, we've come this far. I don't give up. They've given up on this whole exploding gun... Gunt? <laughs> Exploding grunt game. So they're, they're, they're destroying warehouses. They're getting other things. And Red's like, this, I mean, the game is far too slow. I mean, I just say it's a, it's a skill issue at this point. And fair enough, I say, look, okay, guys, give it 10 minutes. Give it 10 minutes and then we'll switch. No. To which Black retorts, nah. We go now. <laughs> He's like, no. I think you'll find I make the rule. <laughs> oh, which is which is kind of funny. But um, I'm amassing. I'm amassing right here. And then, you know what? He's just foddering all this off. He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna go. Maybe get the middle, and then with all this population space. I'll make a, I'll make a scar. And then, which, it just confuses Red. Red, poor guy, has no idea what's going on. He's like, are we doing a normal game? Scarab only? I have no idea. The, the witch black's like, it's a normal game. Normal game. Everyone agree, normal game. At this point, he's playing his own game and we're NPCs just agreeing to it. So, Yellow's like, no, no, please. I've just amassed all these grunts. And so is Purple. So have I. We've gone all this way. And it's about to get interesting here. With them committing to other strategies. But we. We. Or at least me anyway. And, and Yellow. And somewhat Purple. Purple's holding the fort. He's in the middle. Keeping these guys at bay. I decide with almost a full pop to lay down the law right with Sayat. And here we go. This is a full pop of exploding. Hear me right, exploding grunts. And look how quickly that went down. I have no idea why that this time it went down so quick. Maybe he had an extra third shield generator on it or something, but only eight exploding grunts. And the base is gone from two shield generators. So I think he had more. And I'm like, okay, okay, we've got to push. Cyan's only units are in the middle, and he's making Banshees the cheeky kid. <laughs> so I'm like, no! And there we go. The hall, oh sorry, Summit is gone. And at this point, I'm like, right, no more shield generator for you if I just take down the shield generators. And he's already upgraded his Arbiter all the way. <laughs> so I feel like they've been thinking about this for a while. And I'm like, no! Kill the summit! No! Damn it! But we've killed one base. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. And then I think, you know what? 
All right, dude. You're going to use your Arbiter? I'll use mine. You're going to use yours? Fair dues. So yellow starts to come up. Yellow's thinking, okay, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go the left as well. And I forget, I was like, oh, I, sh I should have probably have taken that. He's got Banshees. Um, and then, Define this is what I mean. Research. I feel like this was preempted. I think they were talking in team. And you can see why, like, they're, they're just going to run away until, you know, they can turn around and start shooting at the, uh, at the grunts. I'm not exactly too sure. It seems like yellow is attacking the red scarab. And he kills it. The red scarab is gone. You can just kind of see on the minimap it disappeared. So and he's and he's like, what the hell? <laughs> he did not expect his scarab to go down. This is what happens when you don't believe in the exploding grunts, damn it! And then purple, with the help of me, takes out the second cyan base. The banshees go over. They're desperately looking. Desperately looking for another way. And just as that's happening, Cyan's lost his second base. Yellow is about to lay waste to Red's expo. And then the unthinkable happens. And Yezzy disconnects. I don't think that was deliberate. That looked like a disconnection. Like something something didn't go right there. And it's at this point, it's a 3v2. We've got somebody going for scarabs and banshees. If, if this doesn't go well, I'm dead after this. So... With my Arbiter now free to use, I thought we'll just we'll just teleport people in. Because why not? And the Banshees do take out that base. Uh, but, however, Cyan is now on... Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. No bases! Yes! And then I start raging down the Banshees. <laughs> I don't know about you. I thought that was a pretty successful run run. Um, maybe, maybe we could do it again. Maybe we can, like, have a time when we all have full pops so we can skip the beginning sort of thing. At that point, I resign because I know it's over. I'm like, there's, there's, there's no hope. We're down a player and, yeah, there's, there's nothing going to happen. And, yeah, there you go. Two back-to-back -back Mimi games. Cyclops. Exploding grunts. I don't know. I, I thought it was pretty fun. But yeah, that was the end of that. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.